Today we are going to look into the vanishing point feature in Photoshop, which you can use to turn any white box like this one from plain and simple to adding your own texture or pattern. So let's get right started. We are starting off with a box. The box is simple. I have the box here. I have my pattern here, just nabbed it from Google Images. What we're gonna do is we are gonna control click on the pattern so we have a selection on it and then control C to copy, hide the pattern and then select with control D. Then on our image, we're gonna use the object selection tool and mark it, then control Y to make a copy. So we have it solo standing. Create a layer above, hold alt so you see this little icon and then click. So it's nabbed to the layer below and now Time for the vanishing point. We're going to filter vanishing point. And we want to do a vanishing point around the box. What you're going to do, start off by one corner and just click, 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 and click. And make sure it's like this bluish. If it's red, it's bad, like this one. Then we're going to press C until we see this little icon with the white mouse pointer and the little grid, and then just nab downwards. You don't need to be very perfect. It can be a little bit overlapping, that's no worries. Adjust the points, click here or here, C, and then again, just drag it out. That's good enough for me. And now we press Ctrl V to pass in our pattern and just drag it on, on our vanishing points and then press OK. Next up, we're gonna change it from normal to multiply. Double click to open layer style and then just slightly adjust the underlying layer by holding Alt and sliding the layer. There we go, make it a bit bigger so it covers the corners, there we go. And for some final touches, as always, gamma correction and some exposure. And that's that. That's the fundamental of Vanishing Point. You can add any textures you want in any box. Quite simple. Bye! Bloody hell, it's out in this thing! Ugh.